not gonna believe this, man. So they decided to take my god dang on dogs, man. They took my dogs, they took my dogs. Screen weather, the screen weather's too hot. And you guys, let this be a lesson to you guys, man. If it's that hot outside, too hot for you, it's too hot for your dogs. All right. What's going on YouTube? Man, as you guys can see, I never normally even wear my shades, but the sun is hot. It's hot, man. I'm talking about hot. It's 105 degrees right now in Texas and it feels like 110. It's hot. Come to let you guys, you're not gonna believe this, man. So they decided to take my god dang on dogs, man. They took my dogs, they took my dogs. Screen weather, the screen weather's too hot. And you guys, let this be a lesson to you guys, man. If it's that hot outside, too hot for you, it's too hot for your dogs, all right? It's just way too hot for your dogs to even be anywhere else. But it is <clears throat> ready, man. Um, it's it's one picture dogs inside it's too hot got the ac on the fan going another ac another window ac just to make sure it's i want it freezing cold i'm just playing with you guys you guys know they take my dog you guys know i take care of my babies and that's not even all show you guys i'm working on the nova at night time because it's too scream hot it's so hot right now just did the whole uh, suspension in the front, doing the brakes and doing all that kind of good stuff at nighttime, two o'clock in the morning. But it's so hot. Look at that, man, you know my baby's all inside here. Well, I'm in the middle of building the bathroom, you guys, so you guys can have a nice bathroom for you guys when you do come get your dogs. We got them all inside here and inside there right now, just temporarily. Everybody's gonna be in the other shop, but since it's uh, since it gets really, really cold in here, I decided to bring my babies in here. Let me look up at me. What's up, Barack? That's Barack right there, you guys. Khaleesi! <laughs> hey! They all out there. Everybody's going to say hi. Tink, tink. Zelda, Barack. But I got locked up, they won't let me out. Oh. I'll say that singing for y'all a little later. But no, I just want to let you guys know, man. It is hot, you guys. If you guys have dogs, and I don't care which breed of dogs and how many dogs you got, man, bring your dogs inside if it's this hot, man. I'm be honest with you. If you stand outside and you don't want to be outside for more than five or ten minutes, man, bring your dogs inside, all right? Don't think just because. Let me go sit down and tell you guys this right quick. Hold on. Let me let me let me sit down and be serious with you guys for a second. So, all right. <clears throat> all right. Listen. If you guys do not want to be outside that long, don't leave your dogs outside that long. Don't just say, "Well, they're tough dogs, and that's what they are. That's what they're meant to be in the heat." Trust me. Heat stroke is serious, and dogs die of heat stroke every year. And this heat, hot degrees, they die every day. There's a dog dies every single day because of the heat. Um, this isn't back in the days, man. I mean, I understand the snow. Dogs like to be in the snow more, can take more of the cold abuse than the heat abuse. Heat, you just can't, your body's overheating, you can't do nothing about it, man. I mean, it's just hot. So if you guys have dogs and they're outside, um, just under a little tree, some people have dogs chained up. If your dog is chained up, go play in traffic. But um, if, if your dog is chained up, 
for whatever reason, you know what I mean? Some people might have a reasoning, I don't know. But if it does, just make sure that your dog is in a cool it, vented area because sometimes that sun is shining down and the sun moves in that one shaded area the dog had, they don't have it anymore. And when you come back home, the, sh the sun might have turned and the shade's on the dog again. But it's just a high risk, man. You guys, please, 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 pitch your dogs inside. Find a cool area for your dogs. Um, I just went out and fed my cows, give my cows some some new hay so they don't have to be walking around in the yard eating grass in the hot sun beaming on them because they're hungry. They got to choose between hunger and heat. I just went on and bought some new rolls of hay for them, put them in the shade so they can eat that as well too. All animals, man. Um, show some love to your animals, man, because they're depending on you guys to make sure that they are good, okay? Please make sure that they are good. Um, just let's let's come on and get this together you guys because it's <clears throat> it's everybody wants to be a breeder man but nobody wants to take the responsibilities of what it takes that goes into this thing man i mean everybody don't have to have a big old yard you don't have to have a big old kennel and all that kind of stuff i got plenty of dogs that's why all of my dogs i got a big enough establishment for all of my dogs and then i got even more space like in here it's even have even more space here for more dogs to be in here so give them a little bit of room as well but you guys definitely 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 take heed man i cannot express to you guys enough take your dogs inside if you have no place um even if you put them in a garage or something that has ac in it or something or don't just put them in the garage a lot of garages don't have ac but you know what i'm saying for a lot of people just make sure your dog's in a nice cool vented area man dogs cats i don't care what you have um your little rabbits or whatever you guys have bring them dogs and animals inside so you can give them the proper love they have they cannot build the stuff themselves so they depend on you guys to have it don't just oh i don't want to mess up my house with no dog then you shouldn't never got a dog okay i'm just being honest um or at least if you don't have to everybody let me, let me say that this right everybody don't have to bring their dogs and stuff inside the house because everybody doesn't have that and i don't blame anybody who don't i grew up my parents did not want dogs inside the house um, but we always had an area for them to go to if it was ever hot and all that kind of stuff That's what I'm saying. So make sure you guys pit your dogs in the area that you guys can technically just Give them the loving man. I'm gonna show you guys Let me see um, So See in here everybody's all calmed down. They just These fools is just what up bubs? Take this AC in here. I just got them in here. So we're here right now. It is it's 80 degrees. No, 70, 78 degrees. But it's coming down because the AC and everything is on. Like I said, I just turned it on a little while ago. So knock it down in here. Um, because <clears throat> they're always inside there. But I'm going to separate the space. And then plus, we just had this big nasty windstorm. Man, I am building the tops for the dog kennels as well because the tops of the dogs, if you see also the sun can go straight down that way. But the wind, I'm in the mountains. So you guys remember I just put the tops on, like that one's new, new, that was a new one. That was a new one. I decided to put it on top of the old one to help, you know, stop the heat going through or whatever. And it just ripped it right off. Yeah, here as well too. So I gotta replace one, two, I don't care. I'm just going to continue to keep replacing them until I pick the tops up. I'm already in contact with the guys that's going to be out here. But even still, I have the big barrel fans like over here. The big barrel fans, I will pick those on every two kennels to push through and push and push. But it doesn't matter. Pushing hot air on the dogs doesn't matter, man, you guys. Um, uh, it's just uh, one of those things you look at and you want to be mindful. Like, I can't stand out here in this hot sun. I don't want to be out here for more than a few minutes, man. It's hot. So I'll let them back out when it gets cooler, dawn time, getting cool at night, and they'll run around and have all the good fun. But right now, I mean, of course, let them use the bathroom back and forth. But right now, they are in here, the shop. Um, even for me, when I'm working on my cars and stuff, this big old bay area, I like my stuff to have ear as well. Like I'm, so I know if I want ear, I'm gonna get them some ear. And yes, they all do work. This is the big one, so 
this is a 220 unit all right so that's why it's that way it's not a regular 110 this isn't like your normal but while i'm working on my car i have the ac on as well and then you guys know i had the new shop built and insulated as you can see everything's insulated the even the car garage is insulated the dogs are insulated the building is insulated the shop is insulated I'm saying this word right but they're already dumping water so it's a double layer kennel y'all it's not just one kennel it's a kennel here it goes back it's another kennel so these are two layers of dogs so let's see if i can get you guys to see it what we're talking about we even got the puppies in here with them everybody just all about so you see it that way like that and it's about time maybe to go clean these kennels up again already anyway so you gotta expect that when they just all move and get excited everybody uses the bathroom then you clean that one time and they be fine again so hope you guys take care man treat your dogs right your animals right give them the love they need man and you guys be safe in the seat as well drink plenty of water love you guys about